he was the kindest, most generous person I've ever met. I, I loved Robbie Everett, and it was because it was Robbie Everett inviting me to retire from the Air Force and come to Duke. Remember, coming out of UNC uh, as a law graduate, being asked to teach at Duke, a little bit of tension there as well. But, but nonetheless, Robbie instilled in me an excitement, uh, a sharing of his vision for that center. Uh, I was fortunate to co-teach with Robbie, National Security Law, for a number of years before I took it over. Um, and he, uh, he, he was just s such a model of the professor. The students absolutely loved Robbie. Um, again, he would have them in his home. He was the epitome of the scholar. Uh, he had as close to a photographic memory as, any, as anyone I've met. I, I remember he was riding over to Wake Forest with me one time. I was going to teach over there. And Robbie wanted to come over. And um, uh, I was talking about one of the cases I was going to teach. And he said, well, yeah, I, I hope you, and he was sitting there, I was driving. And he said, I, I hope you bring out that line in the opinion on page 873 where the court talks about this. And I, what, what is this coming from? 873? He's remembering the opinion as if he's looking at it. Uh, but more than being a brilliant lawyer, he argued for the Supreme Court on four occasions. Um, he was just, again, the kindest, uh, most wonderful person. And I really owe so much of what I've been able to do at Duke to Robinson Everett. That, Remember what I said earlier when you're talking about my greatest achievement. My achievement is being able to share in his achievements. I really, really, really mean that. Um, but for Robinson Everett, Scott Silliman would never be a Duke, would never have been able to have exposure to everything I've had. And so uh, I owe so much to him. And he's a legend at Duke. And unfortunately, the students now coming in, the incoming classes, will not have the opportunity to learn under him or to meet him, uh, but his picture is up in our law school and he is one of the greatest professors that I think we've ever had.